Hey everybody, this is Mike with On Point Preparedness. Sorry I didn't get any materials out for you guys over the last couple weeks. Me and my family have all come down with the respiratory flu and I'm still getting over it. So it's been pretty rough the last couple weeks. But regardless, I still am following the Pope, the Vatican, and world events. The good thing is the Roman Catholic Church hasn't made any major advancements since the big news that came out a couple weeks ago with regards to the Pope healing the schism with the Eastern Orthodox Church and establishing this new world order. But this right here, this caught my eye and I did think that this was very worthy of sharing with you. We all know that the Pope has been indoctrinating people through social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter and using his rock album Wake Up to reach the youth masses. But this is another one to reach even the younger children. He has come out now with a series of Pope cartoons this one being why we should love the Virgin Mary and it actually in the video says we should love the Virgin Mary more than Jesus I'm gonna put the link in the YouTube description it's in collaboration with a website called Catholic link but in this video you can see there's lots of symbolism with regards to Satanism and Illuminati here you see this godlike figure with the all-seeing eye triangle pyramid over his head but the most astounding portion of this video is at around the 118 mark and here's a direct quote from this cartoon series one might know Jesus very well but nobody can say they are mature enough to be without Mary Without her maternity, only rigidness and discipline remain. There is no joy. So forget about John 3.16 or many of the other passages in the Bible which says Jesus is the only way. The Catholic link and the Pope are saying that basically you are nothing without Mary. And he, or sorry, she supersedes Christ's authority. Um, this is basically no... Um, unheard of thing in the Catholic faith. You know, they really have resurrected ISIS in the form of Mary worship. If you don't know anything about that, there's tons of YouTube videos about it. But I do recommend you go ahead and watch this video. I'll put a link in the YouTube description. Go ahead and downvote it as well. But the sad thing is, you know, they are now reaching the youth. And I mean children, little children, and indoctrinating them with false Virgin Mary worship with false apostolic teachings and you know what this is actually being taught in school curriculums um, in these videos they'll say that this has gone out to many schools and it's being used to teach children so this is just more the same this establishment of the one world religion and bringing in all this interfaith dialogue and bringing people into these these um, false teachings now, we don't know when this whole dam is going to break. 2016 looks certainly right, being that it is the year of Anna Lucius. If you look at the stock market, you look at the world economy, you look at war. But again, going back to my video a couple weeks ago, and some of the things I discussed about 2018, we're just really not sure, because the Pope still has one more schism to heal, and that is the Protestant schism. And... Can we really hold off until 2018? I don't know. It's going to be difficult. But again, I'm going to be following that and keep an eye on it for you guys. But until the next video, this is Mike with On Point Preparedness. Hopefully see you again in the next couple days.